Today, let's explore and discuss when do we need to change the complete water in the hydroponic system. The simple answer to this question is to understand two phases. The first is in phase and the second one is out phase. In phase means when your plants are growing and you want to water your plants, you will just top up and if you complete your harvesting process and your pipes are empty or partially filled, so at that instance, you will completely discard all the water and refill the new water into your hydroponic system. Now, let's see what top up water is and what complete replacement is. Now what you have to do in top up water, first we will look at an example of top up water. If we have a 10,000 liters tank, and we want to add 2,000 liters extra water into it. So if we indirectly add 2,000 liter water into it, then the EC value will automatically drop because just now we added raw water into it. So now the fertigation or fertilizers which we have used for plantation will expand in the water and EC value will be dropped. So now in this case, what you need to do is that the ratio you have for per liter of water for fertigation program, the same ratio you have to use in thousand liter water. And according to the ratio, you will add this water in your system. So this is the top up concept. So whatever fertigation program is for thousand liters, you will add this into thousand liter water. And then you add this water into fertigation water. This is called the top up method. Now let's see when we need a complete change or complete replacement. When your cycle is completed and all the plants are in the market and ready to sell. And now you are going to start a new cycle and you have done with cleansing the pipes. So whatever water is remaining, you have to completely discard all of it and refill the new water into it. And whatever amount of water you are refilling, for example, 10,000 liters of water you are refilling and you have to do this according to the fertigation program. So always you have to ensure that it is not time bound. It is cycle bound. The replacement of your system's water depends on your cycle. For a few of the plants, your cycle will be too short for 20 to 25 days, for example, for celery. And for a few of the plants, your cycle will be for a long period for four to five months, for example, basil. So, based on your crop, you have to make your decision that whether you want to go for a top-up process or a complete replacement process. That's all for today's video. If you have any questions you want me to answer, please let me know in the comment. Learn more interesting stuff about hydroponics with us. You can also learn more about setting up your commercially successful hydroponic farm with us. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get upcoming videos on hydroponic growing to become commercially successful in this domain. Also, consider pressing a like button on this video. It will help us understand should we continue making more videos like this or not. See you in the next video with another interesting topic and hidden secrets of hydroponic.